Hey everybody, Tom Barnes Stories from the 78 back here at the Home Inspired Show downtown Chicago at the McCormick Place. I got a really cool story. You know, like when the pandemic happened, everybody shut down, people came up with like things or things took off. Well, Jess and John started Agent Infused and I gotta tell you, they took off, they are Chicago born out of Ravenswood now, like in the Bucktown area, and they have their manufacturing facility on the west side. It's a really great story. I'm gonna to talk to Jess now about this entire thing because they got Malort, sort of. I'll tell you what that means exactly, or maybe Jess will, for this story from the 78. So let's go and find her. This place is huge. All right, I promise you, you've probably tried to do this at home and failed miserably, <laughs> but John and Jess, they did it right. And I have Jess here. Uh, this Agent Infuse is your baby. It is. Started here in Chicago, yes. Ravenswood. And now you are six years later. That's awesome. We are. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Appreciate That's just it. rad. Thanks, so, man. so walk me through how it started. Cause I was, I read a yeah. little bit about how you wanted just to make a drink for your, or I, I'm sorry, you wanted to give them a different kind of gift. Yeah. You were tired of the boring gift and then things yes. happened. John and I have been together for a few years. Uh -huh. I had gifted him like every bottle across the sun, but I just wanted a gift that was a little bit more unique. So I did some sleuthing, found out about infusing your booze, which I had never done before. Grabbed which is so random because you think about it now, you're like, how did we not think of that? But totally. back then, it was like such was a little like, no. Pinterest thing that I like didn't really know about. Right. Um, but read about some, grabbed some mason jars, fresh fruit, added some booze, gifted it to John with a little ribbon around the side. And it was such a hit. It was delicious. And so it kind of became my go-to gift that I would give people over the holidays. And then eventually John and I were like, we should do something with this. Like it was such a hobby of ours. Um, neither of us have formal mixology backgrounds or anything like that. We just really enjoy drinking cocktails, especially from home. Love it. So we just decided to create these little at-home alcohol infusion kits to give folks just everything that they need uh, to do at home. And that's what these are right here, right? This yes. is this is the. I mean, I'm guessing this is uh, the umpteenth iteration of what you started with yeah right? exactly <laughs> can you open one up let's just take a look inside yeah, like what's course. your favorite one to take so a look so this at? is actually one of my very favorites okay. this is our blue sunday infusion kit it features uh, dehydrated blueberry lavender and lemon mm -hmm. it infuses really nicely with lighter spirits vodkas gins tequilas and so we have this custom filtering pour spout that we make so you can keep everything inside when you're infusing and just filter it right on the rocks into a cocktail we've got some fresh and excuse me not fresh but uh all natural dehydrated fruits and spices we've got a little recipe book inside oh, and that's then fun. yeah you just fill it with your favorite spirit let it sit for about three days um and then it just infuses into a really beautiful all naturally flavored spirit and it looks like you have a few of these types you know so like what's uh what, what was the first one you started off with it's Is gonna that... be this guy over here so this was the, the very navel? it was yeah john and i are huge whiskey people so our orange cinnamon and clove infusion kit was our very first one it's called navel gazer it almost infuses into an old-fashioned ah. and in the six years that we've been in business it's been our best seller ever since and this is something that is was started in Chicago and it's still made in oh, Chicago made which in I think Chicago. is awesome Thank at a very you. cool place it is yeah so uh, we're in a building called make city it's an amazing organization here in Chicago they're over on Damon and Fulton mm -hmm. and it's this incredible incubator that houses about 90 or so small businesses in the city of Chicago so we all have our own production spaces uh, it's a super supportive environment so we've been there for a few years now and it's very similar or it's a sister building of See, the, hatchery. the hatchery yeah the hatchery is another awesome incubator space that's much more much more kitchen focused yeah food products um, but I mean the coolest environment ever you're just surrounded by entrepreneurs and people just building stuff which is very inspiring and you guys like said adios to your day jobs what about two years ago two years ago so the pandemic helped you guys in a sense because people were at home enough. drinking right exactly yeah it was what else a really, was there to do it was, right it was a really interesting time because people weren't going out to bars as much they were curious about making drinks at home so our business really grew in that time we have an amazing team of eight people now so it's, you have it's eight grown people. A lot. We do. Look at yeah. that. Started off with you doing this, this in your in kitchen. John's living room when we were dating, when we were babies, and it's grown a lot since. Yeah. Very cool. So, Thank how you. do people find where to buy it? Is it like on an Instagram page? You got yeah. a website? What's the best way? We have everything available on agentinfuse.com. We've got all of our kits. We've got recipes, home bar inspo, all that fun stuff. And then we are always doing cocktail demos, recipes, all that fun stuff on our Instagram at agentinfused. Awesome. Do you guys do anything in person for these cocktail demos and stuff like that? Is that what you mean? Like the where so you're at is on that virtual. website? Yeah, got virtual it, cocktail it. demos, recipes. We're working on getting out there because like our favorite thing on earth is connecting with people and making cocktails.
cocktails in person. So stay tuned. Uh, yeah, and I noticed you have, I mean, these are just some yeah. of your fun kids. Like, what's happening so here? So this is a brand new product we just launched. It's inspired by a piece my grandparents used to tote around in the 60s. No um, it, yeah, it's called the Travel Bar. And they stopped manufacturing them. One. Right? They stopped manufacturing them in the 70s. So John and I were like, oh, we'll make one. Um, so, so this, this is, is our, yours? This is ours, yeah. That's this is awesome. our thing. It's our traveling bar cart. So we give you a couple jiggers, a couple cups, stirring spoon, the tiniest shaker you've ever seen, deck of cards, and then a couple bottles, uh, or a couple of uh, spaces for your bottles. Uh, and I want to point out here, that says <laughs> Jepson's bourbon. That's right, dude, and it's really good. And if you know really your good. Chicago, you know Jepson's makes Malort. So they make bourbon too? I it did not know really that. It is really good. Their bourbon rocks. We're very into it. No kidding. Yeah. And you brought back the traveling bar we card. We brought back the traveling bar card. I love card. you guys. This is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, That's really uh, sweet. A website again and, and uh yeah and can people i'm guessing it's you know shipping they don't pick up or anything like that it's all shipped to yeah house, no yeah. we we do offer local ship up or pick up for chicago folks mm -hmm. um but we ship all over the states and website? everything's available at agedandinfused.com awesome jess pleasure talking to you, Thank you. congratulations Likewise. i can't wait to try this bar cart thing. Thanks, this is man. amazing all right there you have the latest from the inspired home show here in downtown chicago tom barnish chicago at gmail.com. If you have a story from the 78 you want me to tell, I'd be happy to do it. Head over to the website too, storiesfromthe78.com. Check them all out. We'll see you later.